Welcome back to Foundations of Faith. My name is Rhett Williams. It's glad to be back here on this Monday night. Um, you might remember last time we had talked about uh, working through the Eucharistic prayer and the consecration and how this is the summit. This is the most important point of the Mass. Um, this is where the sacrifice of Calvary is represented to us. And at this point, uh, we are actually there. This is how we connect. This is our participation in that sacrifice that happened 2,000 years ago. And that sacrifice that is always there in front of the Father. Now, as we move from this, we move into the, the Lord's Prayer, uh, the passing of the peace. This is where, uh, in the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, uh, we make this perfect prayer that we see Jesus make um, in his imitation. We also move into the passing of the peace, showing that we are at peace with each other. Uh, we see this referenced even in the Didache at the very beginning, how um, the reference before you come and make the sacrifice at your altar, um, that you go, if you have anything, um, any quarrels or conflicts with your brothers, you resolve that, and then you come and make that, make that sacrifice at the altar. And then we come to communion, and communion is, a, is one of the most important parts um, because this is where, in that time of heaven and earth meeting, it's where we come together and we partake uh, of our Savior. It's that Passover meal, even in the old Passover, you know, what they have to do. They had to consume the, the roasted lamb. And our new Passover, Jesus, is, is the same thing. Uh, we consume him, he becomes part of us. Uh, we become one, the whole body becomes one. So we become one in him, and we also become one with all of our our, our brothers in, in Christ. So it's it's always uh, comforting to me in general because I know whether it's family or friends that are across the world, uh, the Mass is always taking place, um, you know, a reference we see in Malachi, and that through this communion with Christ, we are also in communion with all of our brothers and sisters around the world. So it's a, it's a, a unique feeling we have in the Catholic faith to be able to participate in this, that God is present with us in the Eucharist, and then when we partake with that, we become better, closer to Him, become one with Him, and also one with our brothers and sisters. So I just hope uh, it's something that you realize throughout the, the course of the Mass, because this is the summit and source of, of everything that we do and who we are. So I hope this series has been somewhat helpful uh, throughout the time, passing through all the different parts of the Mass, hopefully different pieces. You might have picked up a little Jeopardy information here and there, in case you're ever on Jeopardy, um, and something that might have been helpful uh, in, each, in each episode. So as we move through the entire Mass, focusing on the, the importance of, of preparation, uh, you know, the, the importance of uh, putting yourself into the Mass and preparing for each part. So whether it's Catholic calisthenics, why we genuflect, why we do what we do, why we bow, why we kneel, um, the times why we sing, why the priest does certain things that he does, I hope it becomes uh, more real in your life and, and help give some perspective on the Mass. So this will be our closing episode uh, for the Mass. I hope it's been helpful. Um, enjoyed being with you on these Monday nights talking about the Mass. I hope you have a great Advent, and this helps you dive more in uh, to the anticipation and the waiting for Christ in this season. So, uh, blessings to everybody, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Mm -hmm.